you're watching Metallica Mania, and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be an album review for Hammer of Fall, Hammer of Dawn. Yeah, Hammer Falls back with another banger album. Kind of out of breath. It's very, very, very hot where I'm at, and I have no AC right now, so bear with me. Brotherhood, Thunder Swifts, Sounds Like Classic Hammerfall, and Ode to the Fans for... It's an ode to the fans that have supported them for years. It's the fan song. Absolutely love this song. Um, it's probably one of the best ones on this album. Just the theme of it's awesome. Hammerfall, Hammer of Dawn is chuggy. The second song on the album is like Templars of Steel. With, it's one of the best. It's one of the best. It has that classic hammer fall sound like this whole album does. It's got it's got it's got a ballad on it. It's got everything. It's got everything you want. Son of Odin. It's full of heavy riffage, more melodic than usual hammer fall. This album is way more melodic than normal hammer fall. The opening riff and vocals on Venerate Me is amazing. The solo is amazing. The whole album solos are amazing. Venerate Me is one of the best songs as well. There's just bangers after bangers on this album there's no there's no denying it there's no denying it that this album is bangers after bangers it is no but it's nowhere as good as dominion honestly honestly dominion is their all-time greatest album um yeah king diamond appeared on venerate me wasn't long enough his appearances wasn't long enough it was just in that oh part and why even have him on this album if you're not going to uh, use his uh, have his vocals on some of the like actual chorus parts or some of the like interlude parts? Why are you gonna have him on the the fucking intone parts? It's like or the like the choir parts. Why? Why are you gonna have him on the choir parts? Like. It adds a lot more to the album if he's actually doing the vocals. Like, doing, like, actual, like, word, spoken word vocals. It's it's just, I don't get it. Um, Riveries, start, Riveries starts out slow, gives the album variety. And Iron Maiden, sla, Iron Maiden type galloping. These guys have brought Iron Maiden galloping to power metal. I've said it for years. Iron Maiden is power metal. A lot of people disagree with that. Um, I kind of say they are ever since Number of the Beast. Um, uh, yeah, sorry to say it, but this has some Iron Maiden's like galloping to it, and they made it their own. They made it their own. It sounds completely different than what Iron Maiden would be doing. The galloping's a lot of a uh, lot like the tone gives it a lot more body to it. I love it. I love it. Old to Die Young, Thunder Spritz with soaring vocals, guitar tone is killer, it is killer throughout this whole album, um, To Old to Die Young is kind of one of those like uh, tracks that kind of fall behind the uh, the best tracks on the album, um, I kind of see that, Not Today is the slowest song in the album, the ballad song, um, people often complain about the ballads, and I gotta say this, I gotta defend it to the death, Excuse me. I gotta defend it to the death. The ballads on Hammerfall, they're amazing. Why would you want them to not do them? They're amazing. They do ballads really good. Like they 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 just ever every time they do a ballad, it's amazing. I don't I don't know why people hate ballads so much in metal. It's not something to uh it adds a little more personality to the record next song lift free or die is an amazing has amazing chorus has amazing instrumentation instrumentation is absolutely hard-hitting and it will annihilate you in every single way um state of the wind starts starts slow but then gets to classic hammer full power metal that we all know and love it's like it starts out really slow, there's acoustic parts, and then boom, just hits you with the like the chuggy guitars and hard parts that we all love. No Mercy is a fast riff fest to end the album. The album is not as good as Dominion, but it is good. I kind of 
have already said this, but I don't think they'll ever do an album better than Dominion. Um, that That's kind of a challenge to try to do, um, because Dominion is absolutely crazy. It has the fucking title track, Dominion, and then Testify. Like, and then uh, Glory. Uh, it's just, the album is never going to be passed. Honestly, this one, I would put pretty high on an album ranking. Spoiler alert, this is the next album, uh, album ranking, Hammerfall. With this album on there, I kind of want to update it. Kind of want to share my opinions nowadays. Uh, yeah, but it's not. It's not number one. Honestly, it's not number one. I'm spoiling it here. Um, but yeah, that's what I think of Hammerfall's uh, Hammer of Dawn. I think it's a great album. I think you should got you guys need to check this one out. Um, kind of going fast because well, I'm in the mood to I, I'm in the mood to uh, speak fast today. Um, I'm known for that on YouTube, speaking really fast and getting my uh, sentences out pretty fast. Um, it's it's a skill that I learned um, through doing YouTube over the years, of being able to like read a prompt and just go nuts. Like that's how I've learned it. That's how I do it during the day. If it's at night, I usually do it more silent and less. Uh, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram. Um, same names on each of them. Uh, TikTok, I usually do small little album reviews or maybe uh, album versus album. Or you could vote on what, what album you say is the best out of the two. Last time I did that, it was Back in Black ACDC and uh, Graveyard Classics 2, Six Feet Under, which is Back in Black, but Chris Barnes covered. Um, so yeah. That's what I think of this album. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video.